so this is actually what this video is about i'm going to go to the peach tree that has completely broken this is the pepper garden chili garden yeah you can see our chilies they are huge we can't these ones are pickle you can see them all over i pickle these like you do you pickle the picantes so i pickle these and i've got a bucket full which i still need to take all the seeds out because i too much chilies for us to use. This is why I'm making this video. It's to show you all these peaches and how heavy this was. And this is still all the peaches. Like I, I, I can't explain to you how many. Right? So what? Nabila is doing this morning from the previous harvest I mean easily on this tree there is about maybe 150 to 100 um, and obviously you have some that have bugs in them I've also used we've used actually our lemons from this tree today for what she's doing which is was a little tiny tree that I bought two and a half years ago when we moved here I bought it at Art Nursery and this tree just grew so huge yeah the other lemons she used for the she's making peach jam because uh, we it's, I'm, I'm looking and I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place because See, this is our passion fruit vine but because these um, bishop's crown peppers they don't grow well in shade so they're pushing through to get some sun to produce and once again I'm just showing you all the peaches gosh man can you see them You see them? I, I can't explain this to you. I personally have never ever seen so much peaches on a peach tree. Now I don't know if it's the soil that's making all these fruit trees produce like crazy because we do have plenty of um, limestone in this uh, in our soil when we dig then we have to dig out big <coughs> we dig out big rocks of limestone so the mission now is to get this garden cleaned up and for me to re um, sort of set out and lay it out for the new season we have let the grass grow wild because we want to have a lot of grassy areas and then just trim it around the edges um, so I'm going to show you what she's doing in the kitchen as regarding with regards to the yes Alia yeah, no, no, you didn't have a snack yeah. oh, no. what do you want to have as a snack Alia is peeling corn so she's sorting the corn here, the soft ones and the ones that's been on the on the corn things too long, cob the things too long, because we've got plenty of corn. So because tomorrow night we have corn for um, supper, so Alia's doing that, and the others they are at school. So what's going on here is we've got our peaches okay, cut up. What are you doing with the peaches today? Um, at the moment, I'm just um, stewing it with some lemon juice. Okay, I'm not going to tell you how many because I think this might be three batches, so it's probably nine teaspoons. Nine te tablespoons, nine tablespoons. And then um, this is what the peaches look like. Roughly these sizes. This, these ones are a bit undersized. So for each batch, you would need about three to four medium to large peaches but we've got probably 40 undersized peaches 
Um, and then what I'm gonna do after this, it's, it's finished now, steamed and stewed and whatever, I put it off. I actually put it off because um, you could see the bottom was starting to catch catch on a burn or whatever. But um, so now we're gonna, I'm just gonna put it in my food processor or liquidizer, depending which one I feel. And then I'm gonna add it back into the pot, add some sugar. So for each batch, you would need two and a half cups of sugar. So it's a lot of sugar, but we are making jam. So that's what we need. And it's only the three ingredients, peaches, lemon juice, and sugar. And cool. there you go. We'll, we'll let you see uh, the final product when it's done. Okay, awesome. So we ha I have shown him all the peaches that he's still on the tree. Yeah, I know. Those are still going to be harvested. I've got my things ready. And also we have enough for the kids to eat. Like, I mean, yeah. on a oh, daily. Yeah, yeah. Sure. All right, so Come we'll on. show them the jam once it's done. Done. Yes. So, let's see what it looks like. I don't know if we need to. Okay, so Ooh. it's leaking on me. You see that? <laughs> some of. So I scooped some of this in here, and then I blended it, and this is what it looks like. So the lemon juice, I suppose, is also for to retain its color, right? Yes, and also just to as, it a, as a slight preservative. As a slight preservative as well. Yes. So now we're gonna put it. Um, I'm just gonna complete this, and then I'll do the next um, batch. Batch. Yeah. And then from here, it's gonna go back into the pot, back and you're gonna add pot. your sugar, and you're gonna cook it up for a little bit, and then wait till it cools down, and then we should have our jelly jam, peach jam. <laughs> Okay, so at the moment, um, we've got our peach puree over here, and um, so like I said, I um, blended the peaches that were stewed with the lemon juice, okay, um, now I'm going to add it back into the pot, um, no need to, just adding it back, adding our seven and a half cups of sugar, I'm going to add seven and a half cups, but um, as it cooks, I'm going to check to see if I need to maybe add another half a cup or another cup, depending on the texture of it, because, like I say, it is 40, around about 40 um, peaches. And I actually tasted this. It, it's, mm. it's sweet as it's it sweet. is. I was thinking it tastes exactly like canned peaches without does, even having any sugar, because these peaches are so sweet. Yes, and if you want to give this to your babies as a... Um, like the purities like that a they, dessert, like uh, a dessert, yes, you can give them a few teaspoons if they may be constipated or whatever. I'm not giving advice, but I'm just saying it's very healthy, um, homemade. Homemade, organic. Exactly. No pesticides. Exactly. And that's why we have some that have, like you'll see, like some of it will have like a little mark on and so. Yeah. Because we don't treat our fruits with pesticides. Yeah. Okay, so let's put this into the pot. You get this, because like 50% of what you get of the tree are well, spoiled. Yeah, are and spoiled. Goes and goes to, yeah. to the animals. But because up. it's producing so much, you have so many that's completely healthy, no specks or speckles. It smells amazing. It does, I know. I, I, I like took a spoon and I'm I... I'm glad I'm doing this while the kids are in school, because I'm sure if they were here, they'd be sitting with bowls with spoons and wanting to eat <laughs> yes. them, like, just like this. So, yeah. Now I'm going to add my sugar. Let's put this on a low heat. Okay. Smear. Okay, so here's one cup of sugar going in. Maybe you should do less sugar. Okay, then let's do like maybe five six. cups. No, ma'am. Is it? Oh. Because I didn't expect the peaches to be that sweet. Let's That's see. Three. Six. Let's make it six. Okay. okay. I'm not going to make four. it full cups. No, you're not a full cups. That's five. Okay. Six. I know I jam know. is sweet, but that really looks like a lot of sugar. Because I'm a strawberry jam and I don't like add that amount of sugar in it. So it's like you're eating yeah, more this sugar. This is not a strawberries. This is peach jam. Okay. Like if you're stirring it in, you can see the consistency. Okay, I'm picking it on 
know you so that it doesn't burn out. Yeah. Change my spoon to a wooden spoon. So this will probably also bubble like strawberry jam. It will it will bubble and then when the foam would on top probably disappears in the jam is ready. Yes. So that is yeah. And, okay, I not sure how long exactly I'm gonna be cooking this. It is my first time making this. So I think maybe fifteen minutes. Mm, 15 to 20 minutes uh, 15 probably. 15 to 20 minutes should be enough for most jams. Okay, we done. Now the jam is cooking. Okay, it's been cooking maybe 15 minutes. Um, this is the foam that my mommy has been speaking about. And uh, once it um, like cooks down to a more sticky consistency, a jam-like consistency, remember it's going to become very sticky once it cools down. Um, and then basically it's it's done it's basically done but I'm standing here and just making sure that the bottom doesn't stick or burn because jam tends to burn very quickly and I did add an extra cup of sugar so in I add so we have all on like seven cups of sugar in here at the moment um, and then yes once it's done um, then we've got our jam and that's how you make it Thank you, Nabila, for your jam recipe. <laughs> okay, so Nabila is finished with the jam and it's cooled off. So I'm gonna just be, when you're done and it's cool, I'm just putting it in these jars. These jars, we just pour some, after it's washed, we just pour some boiling water in it. We let it stand so for 10 minutes. And then I pour it out just to kill any germs that might be in there. And then we just fold the jars. These are those, I think it's those uh, Dara Eggfit or something coffee jars which we keep. And we'll probably go get about three or four of these big, big, big jars from this batch that she's made. Yeah. And here we go. Peach jam, homegrown, from the garden to the table. Gosh, this used to be my dream life before. And alhamdulillah, now I really am loving it. It's amazing. Ooh, so I will be cleaning this off because it's got jam running all over. But that's our jam for today. Yep. From me, Harriet, and South African homesteader. Until next time.